G'day folks, and oh, welcome to a Wednesday afternoon in the shop. I'm glad you all like the recent videos I put up. I'm slowly picking through the backup directories on this drive. I've got to um, clean it off now. I just realised I'm down to one gig out of 180. So I'm going to transfer them all to an external or a network drive in another PC. I might even format the um, secondary drive on that other one I found at the scrapyard, the um, Athlon XP 20 or oh, 2400 or whatever it is, I'll see if I can format one of them and just set it up as a network PC down here. I want to clean all that crap out, it's been there for about 6 or 12 months now, so I'm going to sort all that out. And that ammo can contain some really heavy VFD bits, I got it out of the big Danfoss high power drive about two, a year and a half ago and I haven't touched them since, so I'm going to sort some of that out and might even offer some of it for sale. And um, that's later on this week, I want to have a big clean out. Might even get the scrapyard to drop a bin on the trailer once I uh, get rid of that that control cabinet. Uh, that's on the trailer right now out the front waiting to be unloaded. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to unload it because it weighs a lot more than I thought. Like the poor old car, it was just wobbling and bucking every time that trailer went over a bump. So I'd say that's close to 800, maybe 1,000 pounds. Um, the trailer's rated to about half a tonne, which is 500 kilos or... 900 and something pounds and I'd say I'm right on the limit. She is hitting a bit low uh, Yeah, so I've got to back that in and start stripping it uh, Might do it tonight might do it tomorrow. Don't know. I've got to move cars and shit around. It's a pain in the ass having so many cars, but it's still fun Either way, uh, I think YouTube's finally fixed a few things. Uh, yes, the comments character limit if I reply to something say this one if I click respond to video, yeah it says 500 characters at the top there, but sometimes if I try and reply to somebody there we go, 481 characters that's uh, just a bug I think uh, some people say it's as low as 200, so it's a bit unfortunate um, they've also fixed the favourites thing whatever I favourited recently comes up at the top now instead of being halfway down or all mixed up at least as far as I can tell it looks in order now, so that's good um, I have to recommend if you're an old school PC gamer who likes FPS, you would have played Doom and Doom 2. And I'll put a link to this description in, or for this one. Just popped up, nice, pretty reasonable remix. I really like it. And the guy, I believe, is playing the guitar in it. But I don't know for sure. I haven't really looked into it, you know, to be honest. I found it last night. That and ignoring any political ideology some people are trying to push. This is some really cool industrial, um, I think they call it neo-folk music. And there's some really cool engineering videos, presumably World War II German or some other similar country. I don't know for sure, but there's some really cool industrial machinery just shots in it, which are just awesome with this kind of industrial music. I know some people would say uh, the band might have certain political ideologies and stuff like that, but don't buy into it. History is here to learn from, not repeat. Unless it's really good history. In this case, if it's, somebody is pushing fascism or something like that, that's not to be repeated again, even though many governments do try it these days. So, yeah. Uh, I think the band's called Arditi. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, yeah, neo-folk music slash industrial. So, all my hardcore industrial fans would probably like that. This has a real gritty, harsh sound to it, although some of them are more melodic and quiet. Uh, False Mask of Freedom and Sons of God have really hardcore beats to it, like machine-like beats, and that's why it's set to videos of machinery and fabrication, fabricating tanks and war machinery, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a big war history buff. I don't take sides either, so don't judge me on that. I know a few people have noticed that I like to watch um, World War II history of the Third Reich and um, Japanese Empire and that sort of thing. I'm just, I'm just doing it to learn what the other side was like. I'm not doing it because I support any particular ideologies. Um, I wish we could blend the best parts of all of them together to create some kind of really good political movement, but uh, there's always room for uh, abuse. Just like people, even in my sister goes to university and she said there's a big communist movement there. And yes, communism's one of the classic things. In theory it works, on paper it seems to work, but in reality, no it doesn't. 
So, yeah, that's my piece on politics. Australia's got enough problems as it is. Bloody Gillard doesn't know what she's doing. Kevin Rudd wants to push her out or something. I don't know. I don't even follow the news very much, and it looks like it's going to turn into another shitstorm, if not another coup. Yeah, this will be interesting. But it's about damn time something happened, because Gillard's going to push this country in a, into oblivion. I don't think Rudd's going to be any better, but with a bit of luck, they'll just simply destroy the whole political party and have to start again. So, that's all we can really hope for. That or uh, Bob Catter gets into power after the state election in Queensland. I think that's what he's up to next. He has to win the state and then go on to federal. He's about the only politician in Australia I sort of like. The rest of them are just dickheads and evil. I know I'm going to get flamed by certain people in this, but yeah. I wasn't going to bring politics into it, but damn it, it's a hard time for Australia right now. We've got so many companies shutting down, liquidating staff. Alcoa Aluminum wants to liquidate 600 people or something. No one knows what they're doing now. Plants shutting down in preparation for the carbon tax to come through. They don't even want to deal with a carbon tax. So some companies are already shutting down before it comes into effect. It's getting real bad. Anywho, enough of that. I guess I better look at maybe moving that cabinet in. I don't know. We'll find something to do tonight. Actually, the first thing I'll do tonight is turn the air conditioning on because it is getting hot in here. I think these PCs don't help though. Now, I've had a few people pick up on the fact that I'm uh, pretty up with the history and things like that. I think I had someone comment on my... I think it was a reference to Bethlehem Steel when I was uh, explaining... What was I explaining? I was explaining something about BHP Steel in Australia and shutting one of the mills down. I know it's not on the same scale as Bethlehem, but yeah, someone picked up on that and was quite impressed by my... or uh, well, the fact that I knew about it and I knew what happened. But yeah, I've seen pretty. I've seen hours of documentaries on Bethlehem Steel, and it's quite fascinating. It really is. And some of the videos in these RDT videos are quite interesting too. I mean, we see machines like this very rarely these days. Everything has to have safety guards and stuff on it. But um, yeah, very very rarely do you see old school machinery with flat belts and open pulleys and gears and things that. These days, most people would probably get their hands caught in on the first day, but back then, there was no real OH&S emphasis, and hey, if you got chewed up by a machine, it was your own damn fault. So yeah, it's uh, worth looking at it. Don't look into the politics too much, as I said before. It's all bullshit. But yeah, interesting music, and very interesting footage I've never seen before. Um, I don't even know if it's copyright, so I probably shouldn't be filming it, but... Either way, I'm uh, not even going to monetize this video for, the same, for that sort of reason. And that's sort of my other rant. You can't... They try... They... Ugh. What am I going to say? Um, people don't respect copyrights anymore because of the over-emphasis um, over on copyright. Like, what I've just shot would probably be frowned upon by most major corporations who own copyright material. Whereas I class it as sort of fair, reasonable use that I'm promoting something for the band. I'm promoting this video out of the goodness of my heart. But, yeah, the overemphasis on copyright enforcement has led a lot of people to just not give a shit about it. Um, one troll even suggested that I should be supporting SOPA because I want to have some of my stolen videos pulled from various other sites. Um, no, I shouldn't support SOPA because that's just a knee-jerk reaction and on a massive scale. I mean, I support individuals' right to copyright, and I support companies' right to have... Say, if someone's uploading an entire movie or an album in HD uh, for free download all over the web, I can understand they'd want that down because they've spent time and money producing it and all that sort of thing. But if someone just wants to use a little snippet in a video, big deal. So, yeah, that, that's my take on copyright stuff. It's, it's put the whole idea of SOPA and PIPA and ACTA and just... The overzealous copyright enforcement has put a bit of a bad taste in people's mouths, so they just generally stay away from it. And yeah, it's gone a bit crazy. But this sort of footage, even this sort of footage, I don't think anyone had owned copyright on it, but it's, uh, yeah, someone probably, someone somewhere would probably own copyright on footage from the Third Reich. I don't know who, but someone probably would. And that's what this is. They're building U-boats and Panzer 3s, I think it was. And 
yeah, somewhere, somewhere, someone's going to make a copyright claim. I guarantee it. <laughs> it's just silly. And somehow I have a Let's Play Unreal 2 up in the related links. How is Unreal 2 related to this? Oh, well. This is what I'm doing this afternoon. The display cabinet can, or machinery cabinet can stay outside. I can't be bothered moving it in tonight. Thanks for watching and enjoy the uh, music and bits and pieces and whatever I find in the process.